This is a big message, and if you're tuning into this live or you're watching this video and you somehow or another just decided to come into this video and you, like spirit directed you to this video, I'm going to give you guys a message. And this message is going to be very important for what's coming for you next for some of you. Um, obviously, this is for those of you who have, um, you know, who manifest and who work on your higher self and <clears throat> you get yourself aligned with your uh, abundant code, right? The abundant light code. Spirit wants you to know something. Um, at this point, if you're manifesting something and you've been working on this manifestation for a while, <clears throat> as soon as I got on live, my breath got taken away. So um, we got a surrounding of spirit right now. So if you're working on a manifestation and you've been working on this for a long time and you've been telling yourself, this is going to happen for me. I know it. I deserve this. It's going to come. It's happening no matter what it is. Thank you. I put the aloe vera and... Um, and um, grape seed oil on my face and a little bit of coffee uh, oil. But um, I did a nice scrub earlier. I give myself a nice exfoliating scrub on my skin. I put some rosemary oil in my hair. My crown chakra is going off right now. I want, I want you to know something because spirit's like, hey, can you do me a favor? Because they, they know they work with me. <laughs> and as I um, manifest, when I manifest, especially when I'm in the midst of manifesting something huge, right? Spirit will... Um, you know talk down down to me like oh you're not gonna get this like what makes you think you're you're living in a delusional fan oh my crown chakra you guys you're living in a fantasy world bitch you're never gonna get this like are you insane do you actually think that this is gonna happen for you and it's like spirit is telling me to let you guys know if you're in the midst of manifesting something and you've been wanting this to happen for a long time i need you to look into my eyes and understand something it is not easy to stay <clears throat> positive the whole time I know that because trust me I go back and forth with my energy too but one of the things we're working on right now is to listen to that inner voice that tells you have faith believe it will happen um, there's a woman named Hel Helen Haxel okay in the Joe Silva method um, she worked with Joe Silva and she was doing this manifestation thing where she would um, go into an alpha state during meditation and she would manifest that whatever she want, wanted to get that it would just happen for her and she ended up winning like boats houses cars uh vacations trips everything she went to paris all of these trips that she entered these contests she won every single one of them <coughs> spirit has me saying this to you oh my god somebody who who passed from like um their throat the chest i'm feeling somebody's um somebody who i feel like they're suffocating right now let's clear the energy let's clear it and run Um, somebody who passed from em emphysema is coming through, okay? <clears throat> How can I get you to do a reading on me? Okay. Pharrell Porcelain? Uh, yeah, because I just, I felt like I, I had emphysema right there. Um, this is why Spirit's working with me to quit. They want me to, like, get my shit right, my lungs. And I, I've been trying to, and today I had a little bit of an extra smoking day, but the past couple of days... <laughs> Not so bad. Clear the energy, please, in the chest and the lungs. Thank you. Okay. All right. So this is the message. Okay. And again, Spirit said, this is for those of you who are manifesting. You, I'm hearing you get super excited about this every time you think about it. Your eyes well up with... <clears throat> <coughs> okay. This is coming from the person who died of emphysema or... I'm hearing cough, neck, chest. Um, I, I see a breathing tube for somebody here. It's like a, a, um, the tube is down their throat. They're in the end of their life, their lives. Um, I think I'm hearing the, the name. It's with an M, either Mary or Ma, something Ma, Ma, like that. I know I need to keep pushing up to my goal. I was getting discouraged with my photography business, but now I know I got to keep going no matter what. This is what I'm trying to say to you. Listen. We're in the midst of manifesting, especially the light workers, the star seeds. That's why you see you guys, you see how you stick around for the messages. You know why? <coughs> you know why? It's funny because a letter T, I heard that my mom just gave me a coffee cup reading just before this. And everything I was thinking about, she she said it in the coffee cup reading. And I was like, I already know, you know, it's like I just I wanted to hear the confirmation and everything I was thinking about. And uh, me and my friend were just talking about earlier is like taking place. Right. And so it's like it's already happening. I already know that um, spirits working with me right now and they're working with you guys right now to um, clear some stuff. Uh, that's why I heard you had dreams about this person lately, because 
This is like the final countdown. Like you need to, I'm hearing completely clear chords. <laughs> All right, let's clear it. Let's clear it. Thank you. All right, I have to release that. I have to release that. Can I get a reading if that's okay? I'm, I'm doing just general messages right now. Whatever spirit comes through, I'm just going to give the general messages. And they're having me say this. Um, you know, Flo, I know you wish that everybody was like receiving the messages and really taking them and moving forward with them and, and doing the best that they can with the messages that you give. But <coughs> I'm hearing, don't worry about it. The people that are supposed to be absorbing the knowledge, they're absorbing it. And, it, and sometimes we can get wrapped up in, oh, am I doing this for no reason? And then I get messages that say, say I'm not. And so Spirit wants you to know that whatever you're doing, if you feel like I'm doing this for no reason, like this is never going to go nowhere. I, I'm never going to make it with, this is never going to manifest for me. <clears throat> but actually, you're in the process of fully manifesting something. Okay? I'm hearing. The next three to nine months are going to be one of the most powerful, significant times of your life. Now, you will feel an energy, I'm hearing, of a roller coaster up and down. Like, you know, it's almost like that bipolar, like, so super excited. Yes! Like, and then boom, it goes down a little bit. Here's where Spirit's saying... This needs to get leveled out. No matter what's taking place, I'm hearing they need you to stay on a level that's um, equal. I'm hearing open-minded. Uh, I think I'm hearing name or sacrament, sacr sacrament, sacrament or sa 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 Sacramento, maybe. Okay. Uh, I'm hearing abdominal something with the abdominal. Somebody's having abdominal pain. I'm hearing tooth decay for somebody who's watching. <clears throat> Some of you really need to clear the throat chakra. And I, I get it because I'm on that process too. Um, I feel like your throat, your throat chakra, somebody was getting, I don't know if you were getting like a pulsing on the left side of your, your throat or it could be on the right side because you're watching from there. I feel like somebody was getting like a pulsating feeling on their throat. <clears throat> because spirit is trying to um, make you aware of this energy. They want you to become fully aware of this um, throat pulsating thing that's happening because it's happening for a reason, right? It's like spirit's trying to open up the blocked parts of your throat chakra. You know, throat, throat has to do with communication. It has to do with speaking your mind. It's almost like the king of swords and the queen of swords. Like, the sword is here. You're not going to play with me. Also, spirit is trying to get in contact with us in a major way to the point where people have been texting me and saying that their hand was moved last night. And it was kind of scary for, for, for us. My hand got lifted. Okay, okay, I don't, I am, I'm used to like the hand being pulled up and down, but last night my hand got super lifted up and I, I was not comfortable with it. I didn't think it was anything evil or anything, but the thing was, I was, I was trying to understand what this is, but what I'm getting here is that it might feel like some of it is scary and evil, but I feel like in some secret way, because, oh, I, I just heard something. The veil is super duper thin right now. The veil is super duper thin because we are in between, um, are you guys hearing me? Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me or am I muted? <clears throat> Hello? Okay, all right, all right, you can hear me, all right. <clears throat> all right, good. I guess you guys were just listening to them. All right, so the veil is super duper thin right now. You have to understand we're in between two, um, two um, eclipses, okay? And in the ancient times, they strongly believe, and not only that, but a ladybug just flew right there. And I, I first, you saw I just turned around, and the lady plug, <clears throat> uh, lady, lady plug, lady plug, ow. <clears throat> Some of you guys are going to meet the plug, I'm hearing that. The ladybug just flew there instantly, and ladybugs are all about good luck, good fortune, new opportunities, birth, a rebirth. And it's like the Empress card in the tarot deck, that's what the ladybug is, but I keep saying ladybug. Okay, so maybe some of you are, you know, you have a spirit, spirit animal who's like, uh, I'm hearing a tortoise. Okay, uh, so I am hearing Scorpio, something about Scorpio, and I'm hearing Leo. Um, in general, I'm hearing uh, John or ch ch uh, Jonathan or John or uh, with a J, oh, John, John, like a John, Johnson, John, uh, <clears throat> could be like Jimmy John, like whatever, I'm hearing those names. Um, I'm hearing uh, Stephanie, I'm hearing...
again, I'm hearing Scorpio again. <clears throat> your abundance, like I said, you know, um, spirit's trying to block your 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 abundant thoughts right now. <clears throat> You'll know who I'm, who I'm talking to by way of this. Say lately you've been saying, me too, porcelain. How about this? My sister used to call my daughter Ladybug. She still does till today, right? I went to, um, I got locked up at that time. I got locked up. You know, I was wilding out. I got fucking pulled over by the cops. Got locked up. Got released and then went home and decided to turn myself in. And I was like, that's it. I'm changing my life from this moment on. And I went, you know, don't forget, I got locked up for drugs, right? I was doing drugs at the, at the time. You know, I was getting real crazy to the point where I could have died. Like, the shit I was doing. Taking way too much, you know, type of shit. And so I had went to jail and I said, I'm changing. That's it. This is the last time. And this is a message, right? Spirit's showing you the synchronicities right now. So pay close attention. And I went to jail and I remember being in the cell and crying and crying like, fuck, I got to sit here for three, four months. I was in tears like, who, you know, we're not jail people, even though we acted like jail fucking bait, jail, jail busters I'm hearing. But then when we got locked up, we were like, you know, and I'm sitting in the cell and mind you, my life number, my path, life path number is three. So my life path number is three. I get in the jail cell and I'm not paying attention to none of this. But now that I look now, when I got out and I started becoming spiritual, I, I, I remember I'm like, holy shit. My cell was number three. The girl who <clears throat> had that cell before me in there, she died of an overdose in that cell, in that cell. I was there for doing drugs. I got put in cell block, in cell block H in uh, uh, room three. And on top of everything, on top of everything, on the mirror, the girl who died of an overdose put a fucking ladybug sticker on the mirror. Do you see how crazy that is? The ladybug thing has been my thing with my sister and my daughter for since the beginning of time. Spirit was directing me to my life path number, number three. Like, don't worry. This is the, the path you're taking. We stopped you before you can kill yourself. And we helped you. I did die once of an overdose because I, you know, mixed some some things you know uh but you know it's good to talk about this because i want people to know there's no shame in the mistakes that you make because they become lessons and you become stronger right we all make mistakes right and we all sometimes we just get so depressed that we don't know how to handle our emotions and some people take it out on relate dirty relationships i'm hearing some people do it with drugs some people we have all ways of coping mechanisms right and so Everybody needs to be very open and expressive about the things that they experience so that this way you never hold this shit in and you don't feel shameful about it. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Your experiences, I'm hearing, your experiences, the things you've done in life, the mistakes you've made or might make, it doesn't make you a bad person. You're not stupid. You're not an idiot. You're not some dumbass like, oh man, I shouldn't have done that. I'm such a loser. Spirit wants you to let that shame and guilt go because here's the thing. When you're in the path of ascension and you're getting abundance coming towards you, your dad did too. My dad did too, babe. When, I know. Wow, right? Guys, wow. Uh, when you're in the path of abundance, this is a big message right here. You better take this one in. Take this one. I mean, you do what you want, right? But I know for those of you, you know who I'm talking to? Those of you who I know, like you need a tough love and I'm like your spirit mom and I'm just like listen to me you're gonna listen to me and I know that there's people I, I mean listen today I wrote somebody on Instagram and I DM'd her and I said yo I just want you to know I notice all the messages you send and I don't think they go unnoticed it's so beautiful how you're always commenting because I read all your comments right and sometimes I'll answer people and privately and DM and leave them a voice note and I'll let them know, yo, thank you. Because all those comments you leave, I see them and I'm very grateful. And, you know, we have to be grateful for the messages that you receive. You got to be grateful. You got to be grateful, bro. That's one of the things. And one of the things Spirit's saying is when you're in the path of abundance right now, because you're stepping up to full abundance, let me tell you what's happening. Those that want to see you not believe in your full full abilities and capabilities to be abundant because you don't even understand how powerful you are yet. I'm hearing, but that power will be shown to you once you continue to manifest and keep your energy clear and keep focused on the manifestations that are coming to you. Once you start doing that and you notice the manifestations come in and they start happening and you start recognizing your power, spirit don't want that. You know, there's some spirit that don't want to see you abundant and they know you're about to win. You're about to win in life, win in something. You're about to win. You're about to get that position. I'm hearing something big is about to happen for you. Okay. They know that. They know that. And I hope you guys are taking this message in right now because this one's important. And it's not for everybody. Okay. But I will tell you. I, I will tell you. Uh, I'm a chicken shit who just got scared of a bug. But I will tell you something. 
for those of you who are taking this message in, remember this message when things happen for you. Because right now, I'm telling you right now, spirit sees, don't forget, just like good spirit, negative spirit sees what you're about to receive. They, they'll follow you as you're ascending, as you're progressing. They'll follow you because they know, okay, she's about to get there. It's almost like they, they don't even know they're working for the light too. Yeah, you'll be tested. And these, these I'm hearing these forces will try to manipulate you into believing that you are a low, I'm hearing dirty piece of scum shit that is going to not receive anything that you want because you don't deserve it or whatever, what have you. But spirit's like, yo, you're in the process of manifesting and do not, you got to keep that energy of like believing and faith in yourself right now because what we're providing to you right now, it's you... You have to understand something. You've been waiting for this and you're doing it. And now, of course, because you're ascending, the, the, you know, it's like, you know, the more money, more problems, they say. But that's not I don't believe that to be true unless you make it like that. But the, the more ascension, the more dark angel energy that tries to come in and be like, guess what? You are a piece of shit. Do you actually think that you deserve to win? Do you think that you deserve abundance you fucking whore you remember that one time when you did this and you did that and they'll try to start bringing up these moments in your in your life where you're like i haven't thought about that in like 10 years and boom they're bringing it up to you oh that's why no man wants you oh now you're meeting somebody and he's madly in love with you he's treating you good now you got spirit in your ear talking about Oh, he's going to do to you what they what they all did to you. It's going to be the same thing. They just want you for sex. They just want you for money. But one thing right now you need to hear that spirit is coming through for you. If you are feeling like you need to stay away from somebody, this is spirits revealing people. Don't forget, Mars in retro and, and Scorpio just passed and Taurus is... Ooh, if you look at Taurus, when they get in their truthful modes, they are very like open about the truth. Taurus will tell you how it is, what it is, and why it is to your face with no shame. They don't care. And they will not stop until you hear what the fuck they're saying. And so we got Taurus full moon. And that's that energy of like, I'm going to get this and I'm going to do this. And, and when we have good energies that are supporting our vibration, that are with us on this journey of ascension, you see when you're doing something, when you're, when you're channeling, channeling and you're, you're not like paying attention to the channeling, it just flows through. I'm wiping leaves right now and I feel, it just gives me like that, that just fit, just speak, don't think, you know, but here's the thing. You need to hear this because some of you are really going to be, I'm hearing opening up your own shop one day. Like, yeah, you work for her now I'm hearing, but boo boo, you're going to be doing your own thing. I'm just going to say spirit said, cause you're better at it. I don't know what that's about, but some of you could be working for somebody and I don't, I'm hearing, I, I'm I'm hearing eyelashes, I'm hearing nails, uh, I'm hearing uh, sp something about a spiritual shop or eyelashes and I'm seeing makeup and I'm seeing something about um, oral, or, or, or a dental assistant or, or something with the mouth. Um, so I'm seeing that you're you're looking around, you're like, I mean, you're very supportive, I'm hearing, and loyal to whoever you're working with or for, I'm hearing, but <clears throat> you don't feel like you're working with somebody, you feel like you're working for somebody and you want to change that. You're gonna. You're about to go into... Alma, that's so funny because I just thought about you and I see your name. Um, you're about to, listen, you're, I'm hearing, learn the in and ins and outs of the business. All of it because you're not going to be working for them. For, you're going to be doing what you got to do, but it's like something's going to come over you and you're going to be like, what the fuck am I doing? I could be doing this myself. And like, I see, like, I hear, I'm going to invest. Listen, it's like spirits like, yo, I know you want to dream big, but just start small. I'm hearing this for, from some of us, maybe for me too. I know you want this big, huge place, but maybe start with like, you know, a place where you pay, like, it's like, a, it looks like a studio and you get your little crystal shop and your little healing and your little Reiki or whatever your dr dreams and manifestations are and just try it out. It's like, you know, and then fuck it. If you don't have kids sleep there, so you don't have to pay rent and a, and a shop. Nobody has to know you got a little room in the back where you got a couch. Fuck it. Do it. You know, I see how it works. And then go from, from there, from there, opening up a chain. You know what I'm saying? So your spirit's giving you this message for a reason. Okay, this I swear this message is for the girl who did my reading yesterday. So let her see it. Let tell her to watch it. Because listen, you're on the path of ascension. When you yo listen to me. When I tell you, you motherfuckers, obviously we're talking to those who know they're ascending right now. And you can hold on. Hold, come on, come on. Thank you. And we're on the path of ascension. So obviously I'm talking to those of you who are like, I know something's happening. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's going to happen soon. Woohoo! One more episode, baby. You ain't done yet. 
Okay, the show has not been canceled. You did not get killed off. And you will be coming on, not as the guest star, but as the motherfucking star of the show. Oh, shit. I just saw... Oh, I just saw something. Somebody, like, I saw, like, somebody, you know, well, I don't know, maybe this is for all of us, you know, but whatever. Um, like, almost like um, having a uh, a craft that you're good at and then having a show about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Imagine a bunch of girls in a fucking hair salon, nail salon, a reality show about that. It's mad gossip and, and <clears throat> crazy shit. I even think about that. Mm, you know, I'm not going to say anything further but i think you guys are catching my drift because i don't say my manifestations out loud because we got some haters in the building not here but there's some snakes in the grass these motherfuckers are hiding but they don't realize that we see the head and the tail we're just letting the body roll through for now because we're like dude we know you're there like fuck boy like we're not stupid hello like you're talking about like a wise or serpent than you i'm hearing like i am I am the queen of the Nile, I'm hearing. Do you not understand that I have come here many lifetimes and I have I have conquered and sacrificed. I have sacrificed and conquered. So I have given myself to others and I have let others give themselves to me. I have been the queen and I have been the servant, okay? I have been the joker and I've been the, the master artisan. You cannot, you cannot doubt me. You don't doubt somebody who's undoubtable because the doubts that you place upon me, I will look at them and I will thank you because it will show me that's what I need to work on. This is where we need to think about. This is how I'm going to improve this. That's how I'm going to achieve that. It's I'm hearing sol it's it's solid solicitation. Like some people I'm hearing this very strongly. They they want to see you burn baby burn. You know what I'm saying to you? Huh? Vera's Mace, I do modeling. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, guys, meet each other in here. You're in, a, you're in my chat. Like, get together, meet each other. If you hear me saying something I want to do, and you know how to do it, hey, but I'm, don't be shy and be like, Flo, you know what I'm saying? I got you. I know how to do that, you know? Because that's what that's what we, we're supposed to be doing when we, when we find people that, that resonate with us. It's okay to work with others. Look, let me tell you something about uh, people who are ascended beings, okay? people, Those of you who are highly empathic, very spiritually en enrolled. I'm here and enrolled in the school of hard knocks, spiritual life lessons, badass bitch. Those of you who are, one of the things we got to stop doing is thinking that we need to work by ourselves. I've done this for a long time where I thought it was just, I have to just do this myself. I can't trust nobody. But then I opened up my heart and said to spirit, I do trust. And if someone comes along and they're, they're on the path and I could see that they're not working with their ego and they want to, um, you know, be a part of what I'm doing and they want to do this together and, and not like, doesn't have to be everything together, but if they want to do this the right way and I, I can see that their ego doesn't like if they're if let's say they have to take the back seat right because i told my friend i'm like if you ever went on tour you know what i'm saying and i was like not doing nothing with my life and even if i was i'm coming with you and i'll serve you coffee bitch i don't give a fuck i have no shame no pride in my game because let me tell you something it's like you know sometimes like maybe that's gonna be the easy life for you you're just gonna go maybe serve someone coffee and be their assistant but hey they were your assistant in a past life too so don't don't ever work with your ego don't ever be jealous of someone because I, I mean, you could do whatever you want, right? It's your life. But for me, jealousy is like one of the last things that you could be the hottest bitch in the world. The last thing I'm going to think is, fuck you, bitch. I'm going to be like, I want to fuck her. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a jealous person because I don't look at girls like that. I see them as hot. I'll hook up with that bitch. I don't hate girls because the first thing I see when I see them is a beautiful woman. I'm like, what's up, baby? How you doing? How you doing, girlfriend? You know what I'm saying? They'll be like, what you looking at? I'll be like, oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at your tits. You know what I'm saying? And so I have no room for that. I've never been jealous of women because I was always attracted to them. So I don't see women as competition. I see them as competitive to get asked for a number or go out with them. And most of the time, women that meet me want to go out with me anyway. Not because I'm the baddest bitch. No, it's because I'm a fucking, I'm a G. And they love the way I treat them and the way I pay for stuff. And I open the doors and I, I treat them like, you know, an old, old school man would. You know what I'm saying? So they love that. I love it. They love it. You know, I'm not one to buy like expensive purses and jewels for somebody. I'm not that person only because I don't believe that that's the right way to do it. I'd rather give her money to invest in something for her future. You know what I'm saying? This is the way I think. But, you know, it is what it is. Everybody's their own person. I would love somebody to go buy me a bunch of like Tommy Hilfiger sweaters or Nike sneakers. Like everybody's different, right? I'd be like, yo, give me all the Jordans in every color. Thanks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, give me the nicest Nike sweatsuit outfits. Fresh, clean. Every time I go out, take a tag off bing bing 
What's up, baby? You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I'll do it with little dressy stuff, but I don't like high heels because then I feel like a giant monster who's going to eat everyone. And so I can't do it. Every time I wear heels, I feel like I'm huge and like I'm going to stomp the yard and everybody's going to get beat up. And I just can't because I'm like, hey, what's up? Like, it's just something about heels and me. Just They just don't vibe together. So I have to do low heel for everything. And so like one day I'll create like a shoe that looks good with all dressy stuff. That It's like, it looks like, it looks like a heel, but it's not a heel. I don't know how to, you know, that's possible. We got to do something like that okay when i see a bad bitch it only inspires me to be the same exactly i'm with you give me my money and invest shoe or put me in a room to succeed right so we gotta stop thinking like oh just because we ain't got it somebody who does have it, they're not gonna want us that's not true i know plenty of people that started off with no money right and then they met somebody and this person that they met heard their dreams and they funded their dreams and these people never screwed them over you know you can have that vision have that belief there's somebody who's gonna fund your opportunities your dreams but one thing I'm, I'm hearing, don't think that these people, if you could see that they want sex from you and that's what they want, you got to step away because I'm hearing no matter what you do, what you say, they're, they're only going to treat you like they're other whores and you're not those bitches. And that's what I want to say. And no matter if you're a boy or a girl, because I, I am hearing this, it could be for a gay man too. Like maybe you date guys who like pay for stuff and all that stuff. And and I'm, I'm, I'm hearing, it makes you feel like a slut at the end of the night. Like you go to sleep. I'm hearing this for a guy specifically that you go to bed and these guys are like, they're spoiling you with their money and then you feel like a slut like you're like you feel you don't feel right you know it's like really every stripper could say i sleep good at night but do they roll do they know you think they never think about what they did and how they do it no, especially the ones who suck dick in the back you know what i'm saying give 40 dollars blowjobs they hate themselves but you know we can't judge them because we don't know what kind of position they're in but a lot of them don't do it because they really need it because they already got the money but they still doing it anyway you feel what i'm saying so it all is depending on the intention behind everything i gotta say this for you right now this is an important message coming through it is time for you to manifest the things that you want and do not i repeat this the message don't let the spirit to lie to you to say that you cannot do this because this is the bullshit you tell me i cannot do it but you're telling me that these people come over here and they get on fucking online and what do they say they say hey one day i wrote a check for myself for a hundred thousand dollars right and you could be like but yeah flow but then they worked for it that's right they worked for it because spirit brought them the opportunity so whether they got the check out of the fucking thin air or not if even if spirit don't give you that hundred thousand dollar check they might send you to a space where you're going to work and all of a sudden this person or this opportunity offers you a way to make that hundred thousand dollars and it's up to you to just take the opportunity and go with it because right now you are leveling up and so if you don't take this message and then you come online crying two weeks later talking about flow I don't know what's going on, man. I'm feeling down and shitty. I know what's going on. You are ascending and spirit is fucking with you. They don't want to see you succeed. They don't want to see you shine. They don't want to see you succeed. And we're not going to do that. Because let me tell you something. You play with my heart too long, baby. I've been stupid for too long. Talking about, uh, I know it's no, it's, you know, I'm going to be humble. Um, no, this is what we're doing now. And this is non-egotistical way possible. Spirit, I, I deserve it. I'm ready to, I'm ready to take it. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to open my hands on my heart up. And, and I'm always going to keep that part of me, the moralistic part of me that wants to do good for others the, as much as I possibly can. But spirit wants us to focus on us right now because you can help others when it's time to help others. For now, I want you to help yourself. I'm here. So continue to keep your vision of that manifestation because it's a possibility that right now that you're ascending so quickly. Yeah, porcelain, right? Though I'm, I, I'm sorry. Like I always say, I'm going to say it all the time. I'm not talking fast. You're just listening slow, right? Because this is a message, right? And some people can't accept the abundant code message. This is the light code. The light code channels and they speed talk and they speed walk and they do everything you know but they know when to slow down yes babe yeah i'm done i'm done so remember you're manifesting you're stepping up in your position there's gonna be voices that say you can't you suck you're gonna not get this you tell them shut up this is my time okay back off that shit I'm done. All right, guys. I love you, and I'll see you guys later. I hope this message resonated. Please pass it to someone if you know that they're working on something, especially like a business or anything like that. I love you guys. Bye.